goddamn right. And you're gonna make a difference. This one comes with a basic sort of digital package. Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? You got the power to change lives, right? Hello and welcome to the Barry J. McDonald podcast. If you're interested in creating your own digital product or just want to learn more, you're in the right place. Whether you're just starting out or have been working on your digital product for a while, we hope that our podcast will provide valuable insights and inspiration to help you on your journey. Take it away, Barry. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode. Now, today's podcast episode, I want to talk about being criticized and being judged and why we shouldn't pay any attention to it. I see so many people who are afraid of taking action because they're afraid they will be criticised, judged, made fun of. You know, every time I come on this screen, put this face on camera, every time I put this voice on audio, I'm leaving myself wide open to criticism. And I've kind of grown a thick skin for that. But in the beginning, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to just want to keep yourself safe. Keep yourself away from being criticised or being made fun of. You know, before I wrote my first fictional book, I was really seriously thinking about not publishing it. I'd written the book, but I thought to myself, when I hit publish, it's out there, I can't control it anymore. You know, when it's on my laptop, I'm the only person that's seen it. But as soon as I hit publish, other people can have a look at it, other people can judge it, they can judge me, they can make fun of it, they can leave nasty reviews, and there's nothing I can do about it. And for a lot of us, that is usually as far as we go. We record whatever content we want to create and we leave it on our laptop. We do the videos, we write the book or whatever, but it never sees the light of day because we're afraid of what other people are going to think. Now at the time I thought when I hit publish, I expected that I was going to draw some criticism to me. Now I wasn't really worried about the people in my immediate family. They knew that I was writing a book. But what I was worried about was I was worried about strangers. I was worried about other people on the other side of the world. I was worried about people that I will never come in contact with. And I was worried, what will they think of me? Now that does sound ridiculous when you think about it. People that you will never come in contact with. And you're afraid of those people. But as soon as I hit publish, as soon as I put that book out there, I found that all those people that, all these imaginary people that I imagined were waiting to see what I did next, were waiting to point the finger were waiting to laugh. They didn't show up. And sometimes we have this knack of kind of building up this imaginary scenario in our head where everyone is paying attention to us. Now, I know I'm not that important. I know if I do a podcast episode today, if I hit publish, it doesn't mean that you're going to drop everything and come over here and listen to the episode. I know I'm not that important. And the same is true for you. Sometimes we can put content out, content that we are really, really scared about, And we find that no one reads it. No one watches it. No one listens to it. And all the fear we had pent up inside of us, we realise it was stupid. It was only in us. So if you are a little bit scared right now because you're afraid of putting yourself out here or if you're afraid of maybe creating a digital product or a video or a podcast because you're afraid you're going to be judged and criticised, I'm here to tell you that is true. You will be judged. You will be criticised. But what I would say to you is, First of all, let's get a grip on things because the amount of people that you have in your head who are going to criticise you in reality is tiny, if any at all. You will find that it's only really when you get successful, when more people find out about you, that a greater percentage of people will criticise you. You know, if only 100 people know you right now, you're probably lucky if one person is going to criticise you. But maybe if a 1,000 people know you, well then there could be maybe 10 people. 10,000? could be a hundred people. So it's only really a small percentage of those people. But again, we stupidly focus on the small percentage. We ignore everyone else who enjoys our content, who enjoys listening to us, who enjoys reading our content. We take our eyes off the people that we should be paying attention to and we focus on the wrong people. You know, it's like something I've said before in this podcast. It's like being a footballer. And what you do is you race down the pitch, you score a goal, And you're delighted with yourself. You're celebrating. But what you don't do is you don't rush to your fans. You don't celebrate with your fans. What you do is you turn around, you run the full length of the pitch and you run to the opposing fans. And you stand in front of those fans and you're waiting for them to celebrate your goal. 
you're waiting for them to, you know, to, to join you in the celebrations. Now, you know for a fact, if you are standing in front of the opposition, you know that that crowd is going to wish every bad thing on you. That you break a leg, that you never score a goal again, or that your, your family, or that you get some disease, or whatever it is. But they're not going to wish any success on you. And that's what it's like when you, you know, when you find some criticism on your content, is you're racing to the wrong audience. You're racing down to those people, finding out what they think about you. Instead, what you should do is you should turn around, run up to the people who support you, your fans, and listen to them. Celebrate with them. Listen to their opinions. And not run down to the opposing fans. But again, it's something we automatically do. It's almost like we have this trigger that we are alerted or that we need to focus on the negative rather than focusing on the positive. So if you are afraid right now because you're afraid you're going to be judged and criticised, I'm here to tell you, you will always be judged. You will always be criticised. It doesn't matter what you do. You can be the greatest person on the world. You can give money to charity. You could be a billionaire. You could give half your wealth to charity. Half of the world will see you as amazing because you gave half your money away. The other half of the world will say, well, why didn't he give it all away? You know, he's still, you know, he's still an old Scrooge. He should have gave the other half of the money away. So you can't please everyone else. So instead of holding yourself back because you're afraid of what other people are thinking, let's focus on you for a moment. What makes you happy? If it makes you happy to record videos and release them, do that. If it makes you happy to do a podcast, do it. If you're happy maybe writing fiction or blogging or whatever, do it. Do what ma you, makes you happy. Now another thing I would say to you is that if you find that you are being criticised by people, it's always by people who have got too much time on their hands. You will find that people who are creative, people who are working on their own businesses, people who are also blogging, also podcasting, doing videos or whatever, they are solely focused on their business. And they're probably working so hard on their business that they don't even know you exist. So you will find that the people who are putting negative comments on your blog posts or on your videos or, you know, criticizing you on social media, those are actually people that have got time on their hands. Now, the reason they have got time on their hands is because they are not working on their goals. They're just sitting at home, just twiddling their thumbs, have got time to themselves. And because they've got time to themselves, they've got nothing to do. And it's so easy just to pick on someone, say something nasty about them try and bring them down and try to drag them down to their level so that the person will give up and then they won't work on their goals. So be aware that, you know, criticism is natural. You can't run away from it. You're always going to be criticised. But the people who you are paying attention to are the wrong crowd and the people who are criticising you are the people who have too much time on their hands, who aren't actually working on their own goals and I try to bring you down to their level just so they can have the whole world at the same level as themselves. You know, they don't want anybody to get ahead. They don't want anyone making more money than them. They don't want anybody showing them up. So the fact that you're actually doing your thing and showing them up is more reflection on their life than your life. So as I said, you know, when it comes to criticism and judgment, it doesn't matter what you do. You're always going to be criticised and judged. So if you're always going to be criticised and judged, wouldn't it make sense to just do the thing you want to do anyway? Because you're going to be criticised one way or the other. But at least one person will be happy there. And that's you, because you're doing the things that you would like to do. So instead of worrying about what everyone else is thinking, just do what you want to do. Make yourself happy. Write the content. Record the content. Do the videos. But do what you want to do. Because do you really want to look back on your life and say, well, I didn't do what I wanted to do because I was afraid of what other people would think about me? You will find that most people aren't even thinking about you. And it's you actually spending more time thinking about them than they are actually thinking about you. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. If you're interested in learning more about how to create your own profitable digital course from scratch, we have a special report that we know you'll love. To pick up your copy of Piggyback Profits, How to Make Your First Profitable Course, go to writecom.com now. We'll see you in the next episode.